Brazil has, uh, Venezuela has one of the highest inflation levels in Latin America, and their currency has been devalued by over 30 percent, yet the citizens still want to spend. Stephen Gibbs reports. If you want to buy a new car in Caracas, it isn't easy. On this main road in the city, the Renault showroom has just closed until further notice. Jeep currently have no cars available. If you did manage to buy one of these, you could sell it for an instant 30% profit. But next door at China's Cherry Cars, it's a very different story. As a result of a deal between Venezuela and China, they have no shortage of cars, which are assembled in Venezuela. The prices are very attractive. The banks have offered us a great deal of help, and we have vehicles available, thank God. Around 400 cars a month are being sold by this dealership alone. Carlos has never owned a Chinese car before, but he was keen to seal the deal before Venezuela's latest devaluation forces prices up again. We are taking advantage of this moment. Soon, I expect the prices are going to go up. Venezuelans who can afford it have a real incentive to buy new cars. This is, after all, a country with very high inflation and a currency that is rapidly falling in value. People need somewhere to put their money. This makes Venezuelans want to use any money they have to buy durable or semi-durable goods. It is logical for a family to think about buying a car as a form of saving. They can sell it for more than they bought it and then buy property where prices are going up every month too. So those that have any spare money in these unusual times are easily convinced that spending it really does make more sense than saving it. Stephen Gibbs, CCTV, Caracas.